Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mole Trap, and we got the winners match here: Zero versus Four GG. Um, should be very, very interesting because Zero and Four GG both putting on excellent, excellent performances in their first games. Um, Zero just completely owning the newcomer Brittany um, with some clever play, going for quick mutalisks. Uh, before the scout, so nicely done build on his part there, and for Gigi actually holding off July Zerg's clever build, going for a lurker rush and massive amounts of Zerglings, which was ridiculous and hilarious and fun to watch, but it didn't pan out pan out for for uh, July Zerg. So for Gigi was able to just barely barely scout the lurkers in time and barely got the the bunkers up and some fire bats out actually, uh, which which uh, helped a lot against the Zerglings and what have you. Uh, in order to hold off the Lurker Rush, and then Jelizer did a really good job, actually, of uh, <clears throat> trying to tech up to uh, get to Filers pretty quick, and uh, he was really behind economically, so it was kind of an all-in thing for him, but it, uh, it almost did pretty well, and and yes, yes indeed, we have 4GG putting his barracks in a very strange position. Um, this is very, very weird. Okay, so he's like doing a proxy Brax, but he's proxying himself. Um, he's just put it out in the middle, but um, he, he's gone for a, 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 an eight racks is what it looks like, yes. So he's gone for an early barracks, but he's put it in a strange position. I guess it, I guess he just maybe wanted to get it out a little bit forward, but not too far forward. Maybe he just wanted to hide it. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of that is, but um, he's got it in a weird position. He doesn't have it outside um, Zero's base, like one might expect if he was going for cheese. Maybe. I don't know. Very, very, very interesting. We'll we'll see what happens here. But um, zero, unfortunately, is going for a 12 hatchery build uh, before his pool. He's going for a hatchery before his pool. So at the very least, uh, for Jesus to be able to put on some very, very uh, uh, quick pressure here with this early barracks. Um, <clears throat> I mean, usually uh, on this kind of a game, it's going to be very, very difficult for the Zerg to hold things off. He's not going to have Zerglings out for a long time. He's got his pool down now, but the first Marine is already out. Now, because of the fact that he, he didn't really proxy it, um, it's going to take a long time, a long time for that Marine to get all the way up to, to zero space. His, his spawning pool is going to be half completed, but he's moving with an SCV as well. He's probably going to set up a bunker right outside as soon as the Marine... Yes, there's the bunker there right now. Um, I don't know if uh, Zero can see that. I think he can. Yes, he can see it. He's sending out a few drones to try and deal with this. Um, He's going to go for the Marine first, but the bunker is actually nearly completed by the time these this drones get out there. He's probably going to be able to just micro the Marine around, just around in circles before, until it completes. Oh, he gets it in the bunker! He gets it in the bunker, so now Zero is just going to have to try and prevent any other Marines from getting in that bunker um, by attacking his, with his drones. He's moved his drones out. He's going to try and intercept any Marines coming in uh, with his drones, but in the meantime, none of those drones are mining. None of them are mining right now, and look at this. He's got just a single Marine in that bunker, and the rest are just rallying outside of that ramp, and they're going to go in with three Marines. He's got two Marines going in. He's got a third to support. More SCVs in the way. This is all in for 4GG. He doesn't have an economy at all right now. He's going with mass Marines. Is he going to get those Marines in the bunker? He blocks one of them. He blocks two, but no, they get right past. They get in the bunker, and now the drones are completely trapped. They can't run back. Um in there without any without having problems and the zerglings are coming out now he runs in with zerglings and drones from different areas he's repairing the bunker though he needs to kill those SCVs kill the SCV zeros kill the SCVs the SCVs repair the crap out of the bunker oh and zero GG's losing to uh, a very cheesy bunker rush it wasn't even a two barracks uh, rush it was just one barracks and uh, send his SCVs to company Wow, so I did not expect to zero, zero to go down like that. Um, that was uh, not as well played as it could have been. I'm not sure what Zero was doing there, um, attacking the bunker with those three SCVs. I mean, sometimes if there's one SCV, you know, attacking or repairing, then you can still power down the bunker, get it killed off because the SCV can't repair fast enough. But when there's three SCVs there, you need to kill those damn SCVs, man. Otherwise, they're going to repair that bunker forever. Um, so I'm not sure he must have been distracted at that moment trying to go back to his base to build something or build more zerglings or something like that and when he came back to his uh, attack or well his um, defense rather discovered he had no more zerglings or drones he just uh, had no choice but the GG there he had no drones anyways so hope you guys enjoyed that quick little game uh, for GG advances to the MSL zero still has to fight his way out hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for watching time for the losers match